So, we got that done. Awesomeness. That drained all of our magic, and sadly, we can't really get it back until we, like, either drink a potion, green potion or blue potion, or we, uh, agree to play the game again but don't use any magic. And I'm not going to do that, so we're just going to go ahead and dive right into the uh, next bit, assuming this is not a new video. And if it is, hey guys, welcome back. We're doing some more stuff. So, next bit of chunk of junk we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and find the treasures using these charts here. Alright, so this first one, on, I'm just going to basically go in order the way we got them. You know, I mean, I know there's probably a more efficient way, but I'm going to do this way. Alright, let's see. This is what I like to do. I like to look at the treasure chart, make sure it's there. And I like to try and find the island that I need to look for. Aha, here it is. I was like, it's either Spectacle Island or Private Oasis. So, Private Oasis is where we, Private Oasis is where we need to be. And we can either get there by Forest Haven or... Oh, Tower of the Gods. Yeah, let's just go Tower of the Gods and then go south. So, see you guys there. This is how we're gonna... This is how you would do this if you were going out treasure chart hunting, which most people usually will wait till the end of the game. So, you'll notice, of course, on the left side, you'll see that, okay, we've appeared on the map right there near where we need to be. And you're thinking, like, okay, well, how much... How good is that gonna do us? Like... We're not going to show up on this map. Oops, wait, wait, keep that. Okay. Au contraire. If you approach closer and closer to the X, you'll notice that you're not only on the left side of the map, the little icon, the triangle icon that shows where you're moving, it'll actually show up on the chart where you're moving, which is why, A, it's relevant that you fill out the map beforehand, because it makes this easier, and B, it's easier to get these treasures with the charts. With the charts. With the charts. I think I just... Oh, jeez. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, we're on it. We're on it. Wait. Oh, stop right there. Yes. Alright, so this is, I think, the first time we've done this, but what you want to do is get your grappling hook out. Use it right around where the X marks the spot. And if you're not finding a treasure chart treasure, then all you got to do is be relatively close to the uh, sound effect when it's, like, the loudest. And you should be able to get the treasures that lie below the waves. The ocean waves, I should say. So what are we going to get? Woo! Silver Rupee! These are worth a whopping 200 Rupees! It's time to jump for joy. Sorry about that, I was trying to jump for joy there. <laughs> Woo! Yay, I'm jumping for joy! Okay, okay, stop being such a dork here. Nobody can see you, man. This isn't face cam. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I mean, I can, but I can't. Hang on, I got my wires crossed here. No crossing streams now. This isn't going to be some incident off of Ghostbusters. Alright, what am I doing? I need to look at the next chart. Alright, so... Oh, I should probably... Have... Well, it's obvious. Once you find the chart... Or chart... Once you find the treasure that the chart basically tells you to find, it'll give you a little check mark on the chart itself, and it'll, of course, show up as a circle. Additionally, if you go back to your map, you'll actually notice... Let me see here. You don't have to zoom in, but once you, like leave this area and it's not flashing, you'll be able to see it. You'll have like a little red circle on the like quadrant square. And that's basically an indication to say, okay, you found the main hot treasure that lies here that you, so you don't have to worry about looking for a chart that maybe fits this area. So if you're really bad at navigating and whatnot, this is kind of a nice way the game gives you a process of elimination where you need to go. All right, now that we're done with that, what's the next area? Oh, I know where that is. That's a Eastern Fairy Island, I believe. And that is going to be not quite on the east side. Or maybe it is. Yeah, it is on the east side. No? Oh, no, no, no. You know what? This is that fairy island I came across. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I went straight toward and I it completely ignored getting the northern tri triangle island filled out. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, and conveniently enough, that's north of the Tower of the Gods. All right, so I'll meet you guys here at northern or eastern fairy island. There she blows! Right off in the distance there. Yeah, I didn't even point out, but we have like a huge ray of light to kind of help signify that, that where we got to go for the treasure. So if you're wondering like, okay, where do I even begin to look? If you see that like glimmering bit of light, you're getting close. And uh, of course, as you may notice... Uh... 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 I think right about here? Yeah, that's a good spot, good spot, alright. You hear that? And like a little sparkle, sparkle, sparkle sound. That means you're really getting close. Man, oh man. 
I wish all the treasure chests didn't look all the same, but at the same time, I guess, for consistency's sake, it is kind of nice if they did that. Look what I got, world! It's another silver rupee! It's time to jump for joy again! Oh! 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 I'm totally jumping and dancing. Sorry. If you can hear the rattle rattle of my freaking headphones. Alright, cool. We got 400 rupees. We are really kicking it off nicely with the rich with uh, finances. That's awesome. So, what's next? Six. Uh, oh, good lord. This is going to be a pain. That's not like outside the area either. That's inside of it. Where is that at exactly? That's like. What do we come across? That's not over here. Cause there's a three eye and four eye reef. Ah, six eye reef. So, let me guess. That's next to the Tower, Go Tower of the Gods, isn't it? So enough, look at that. Alright, meet you guys here at Six Eye Reef. Bring bombs, by the way, you're gonna need them. Now you're probably wondering why I told you to bring bombs. Well, there is quite the reasoning, actually, and you will see, so I won't bother explaining. I'll just show you guys why I said bring bombs when you come here. Yeah, right there, on the spot, you're already here. Boo, 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 like the 4th of July, practically, or New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. Dude! You can't... You can't cross fire like that, y'all. You know, if you cross streams like that, it gets all messy and just, ew, icky and stuff, you know? Alright, I'm totally, like, firing randomly here. There are these stupid gumboats. Alright, there should be a second one somewhere around here. Actually, there's one more... Oh, pfft. Yeah. I'm not gonna bother with the, like, cannons that are already here, but what I am gonna do is I'm going to take care of these guys, because they will mess you up. These gunboats here... And it's, it's kind of sad, because we're going to have to come back here later. Alright, now. Now that those are done, I want to say we may have to go that way, but let's see what the map says. Oh my gosh, no we don't. We're actually right next to it. Just kind of cruise forward a bit. Listen to that. Uh, as it gets louder and louder. Alright, I think we're good. Actually, I think it might have been where the gunboat was. Hopefully we don't get, like, an old boot, because I think sometimes if you, like, if you don't pick the right location... You'll pull up sometimes a randomly an old disgusting item that doesn't do anything. It just says, ew, you found an old boot or something like that. It's been a long time since I've done it, but I have done that before. I've got like an old item. Look what I got, it's another silver rupee. Oh, I'm starting to notice a pattern here. Time to jump for joy. Oh, I gotta get up. Jumping, jumping, jump for joy. Jumping, jump and hurt my foot. Woo! Alright. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got that out of the systems. Now then, what's next on the... <gasps> Uh. Let's try that again. What's next on the list? Ooh, Star Island. I know where that is. That's over in the northern part. It's right next to Forsaken Fortress. Sadly, we can't use the Mother and Child Isle Warp as much as you want to. Keep that in mind for any islands that are surrounding it, that you really want to, like, use the warp just to instantly get there. Because we're going to have to do a side quest that's timed, where it would be so convenient if we could warp to Mother and Child Isle and then travel from here, but we can't. So, we're going to have to do the next best thing. We're going to travel to Tingle Island, and then we're going to sail northeast, or northwest, rather, to Star Island. So, see you guys there. Dude, will you go away? Seriously, you've been following me all the way from Tingle Island. Now, I've heard of persistence, and I've heard of being diligent, but man, you just, you take that to a level of annoyance. Back the freak off, Georg. Alright, right about here? Oh, I was so close. I was like, I'm going to get this on the first try, but I was like, no. Nah, I better check just to be safe. Okay, hang on, let's turn, because I can hear the music faintly. It's very, very faint. All right, we're good. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, you can actually switch which side the grappling hook appears on. You don't have to, like, grab it from the right side always. Or is it maybe on the left side when you first start out? Like, if they, when they made this game in the HD reversion? Reversion? Version? I just never mind. I was thinking of I was trying to do like a Twilight Princess comparison, like the win they made they made the game for the GameCube and then they remade it for the Wii. Look what I got rolled, it's another silver rupee! I gotta jump for joy again! Jump, jump, jump for joy! Yeah! Okay. Man, we're gonna have like over a thousand rupees by the time we're done, which is really good because we need these rupees to get what I would what else I'd like to get, but for the time being, let's move on. Oh man, I'm gonna be out of breath before this recording. Ooh, Crescent Moon, I know where that is. I think that's north of... Windfall? No, not quite, but it is northwest of it, so I guess we'll... Instead, we'll use Dragon Roost, because it's already had the direction in the northwest direction. 
So I guess I'll meet you guys at Crescent Moon Island. <sighs> Man, I feel so relaxed. It should be a crime how relaxed I feel. Oh my goodness. I'm sitting here in my freaking underwear because of how relaxed I am, and it's and I'm not like doing that to be ooh. Bow chica wow wow. Oh, I forgot to pull this up. I'm doing it because it's actually pretty warm in here for some reason. And it's not so much temperature warm, it's just I think because I was wearing like some pajamas that were super, super warm. And I mean they were cozy and comfortable, but I think I was losing track of my body temperature, like I was getting lost into doing whatever I was doing. And because of that, I ended up basically making myself sweat to the point where I'm like, okay, I gotta wear boxers or I'm gonna keep melting in here. So that's kind of why I'm wearing boxers right now. But I, to be fair, look what I got rolled. It's another hot piece or a piece of hot. Woo! To be fair, whenever I was younger and I played this game the first time and I was in my room, ow, really? I actually, um, I used to just play in my undies because it was like, it's, it's comfortable, you know, when you're in your own room and nobody's going to bother you. Like this Georg, unlike this Georg, I mean. You're three seconds, you're three more hits away from me wanting to just pound your butt. I'm going to break out the boomerang if you don't stop. You better leave me alone, man. I'm not going to invite you to have cookies with me. Huh? Huh? That's what I thought. That's right. Threaten you with some cookies and you're going to leave me alone. Mm-hmm. I make some good chocolate chip cookies and you know it. All right, stop freaking being weird. Let's see where our next island of interest is. I know where that is. Down here in the south. Oh my gosh, we're going all over the place in this freaking map. Or too far. Yeah. Angular Isle. Is that next to Force Haven by chance? Yeah, sure enough. All right, meet you guys at Angular Isle. And several hours of sailing later, followed by dodging lots of Georgs here. I'm about to get hit. Ugh. Okay, I just do barely dodged all of them there. Oh my goodness. A little more, a little more, a little more. And we're getting close. Gonna have to stop. Oh god, they're gonna hit me. Oh, okay. Whew. I was just thinking like, yep, I'm gonna have to stop and get the treasure, but in the process of doing so, one of those idiots are gonna hit me. Don't you guys even dare. I'm trying to find treasure here. Excuse the heck out of me while I try to do this. You're interrupting a very precious process here. Just say it! I mean, have you, haven't you ever watched Jurassic Park? It's a very delicate process. You need to just back the freak up and let me do my thing. Just, 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 cha just shock, please. Look what I got. Well, it's another piece of heart. We've collected three so far. One more, and that'll easily grant us our tenth heart, actually. Our heart container, I think is what it's called. Oh, I so badly want to, like, explore this island, but I know I lack two key pieces of ingredients. So, we'll have to dwell on that later. For now, let's see, we found six treasures. We got five more to do. We're doing pretty good. Ooh, Diamond Step Island? I wonder if we'll run into that ghost ship again. That'd be pretty cool if we did. Oh, crap. Well, never mind. I guess we're tuning in right now, guys. <laughs> we're gonna make a pit stop. Why? Because Big Octo says so. So let's do this. Now that I don't have to worry about filling out the map, I can kick your butt all over the place. Or your eyes, for that matter. I'm just gonna make sure I don't dwell on trying to, like, target all five, or target five targets and keep throwing this boomerang. So I think that's what happened last time when I was doing this. That was a mistake I made. So I was, too, I was focusing too busy on trying to get the maximum target benefit with the boomerang, and I wasn't throwing it enough, because you need to really... If you're doing this the boomerang route, you're going to need to make sure you let loose the boomerang as quickly as you can, because I think you have, like, maybe three cycles of chances to kill this thing. I think this is actually an 8 eye Octo. Okay, I should have probably tried to get that one in the front, but that's okay. We'll make it soon, I think. We'll do. We'll make do. Right, come on now. You gotta be dead soon. There we go. And that's how the big boys do it. Even though that was an 8 eye Octo, so it's not nearly as impressive. But still, hey. We're getting something out of this. I don't think it's anything superb, but hey. I'm gonna pick it up anyway. All the same. And additionally, we got rid of that pesky little menace, so we don't have to worry about it bothering us anymore. Let's go and get over to the little ring of light here. This is actually the other kind of ring of light you'll see in the ocean. A lot of them are mostly just little common bits of treasure with 20 rupees, but this... I want to say it's maybe either 100 rupees or it's a heart piece. It's one of those two. Whoops, forgot to put it down more. Sorry. Alright, now how far down... Oh! 
Okay, guess I'm not close enough. My bad. Come on now, I know I can do this. Ugh. Okay, fine, you want to be that way? Be that way. A little more, a little more, a little more. Cruise, cruise, Tom Cruise it! I know we can do this. Okay, you know what? Maybe I need to turn myself. <laughs> I seriously can't believe I'm having this much trouble trying to find a stupid treasure that a big octo left me. Like, seriously? Oh my garage, dude. You have some problems if you can't even pick that up. Man, this better be a freaking heart piece, or I'm about to lose my shiznit. This is ridiculous. And uh, look what I got rolled. It's an orange rupee. Dude! All that for an orange ruby? Yeah. I did say I think I had a hunch it was a ho a orange, a horny orange ruby. Yes. Okay. Sure. Why not? Oh my garage, dude. Oh my garage. I don't have a garage. What are you saying? Oh my garage for? I guess that's like another way of saying. Oh my god, baby. I did it again. So let me hear the beat rock. Aha. Uh -huh. I think I just passed it. Yep. Oops. Uh, let's turn that around. Turn around! Turn around! T -t 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 turn around! Seagulls go away. I've already found the big octo and killed it. You don't need to freaking follow me everywhere. You nasties. You nasty! Wait, I didn't do that right. You nasty! Oh, that just sounded obnoxious. Ugh. I think my throat's about to give up. That's probably why I'm, like, not able to do the impression as solidly as I'd like to. Alright, what's in this chest? Oh man! Look what I got rolled, it's the piece of heart I was looking for earlier. Now we have another heart container! Completing the first row of hearts. Excellent. Alright, so, the next bit, where's that gonna be? Ooh, I know where that is, Popper Nile. Meet you guys next to Popper Nile. You can do that, or you can meet me either at Dragon Roost, or you can meet me at Windfall, whichever you want to do. I'm gonna go to Windfall, and then travel... East. Uh, so, see you there.